What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Delph Mickey Quill, and you know what time it is. It's Grab Five time. If you're new to my channel, Grab Five is a challenge that I created where you have to grab five things from your stash and you must, must, must use them on a project, on a layout, on a project life page, whatever crafty thing you are up to. This time I actually got you guys to pick them. So I did a couple of Insta stories uh, last week when I, before filming this, and I gave you some options of things to pick and this is what you guys picked. So let me know if you like that idea and I definitely will do it again in the future. I really loved it because it kind of gave you guys some responsibility, some ownership on whatever I create today. So you guys picked hearts, uh, the Dina Wakely Media Thick Heavy Body Acrylic Paint, washi tape, punches and alphabet stamps. So they are the five items I am using today. So I've got a piece of basil marshmallow cardstock I'm starting off with and I'm trimming it down to 9 by 12 because that is my album size. And I've got these photos of Arch. There's a few, they were a few that were just single photos of him and then others that were family shots that I've cropped down. And I just wanted to do one because the these photos completely sum up Archie at uh, this point. So here he was just over a year old probably about 14 months or so 13 14 months and the face uh, the black and white photo where he's just got his tongue poking out going blah that was just the phase he was going through at this point and everything was just raspberries and poked out tongues so I definitely wanted to do a layout just on uh, these I also find because of the configuration of the 9 by 12 page protectors it's really difficult to use pocket pages to scrapbook four by six vertical photos let me know uh, if anyone is in the same predicament but I know there are page protectors I have some I think they're wear memory keepers ones that are eight and a half by eleven and they have some larger vertical spots um, but whenever I take a vertical picture that I a, a portrait sorry a portrait orientated picture that I really like I usually do make a layout out of it so in the background I did something a little silly here now I don't know what I was thinking but I should have just watered down the Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paints instead I used watercolors as well and it worked but it probably just would have been easier to use the colors that I had on the left so what I'm doing here is I'm just doing some large stripes of paint and I'm purposely dabbing it with the paper towel so that it gives it a bit of a pattern and makes it look a little bit distressed and not as vibrant I wanted to, to kind of tone it down a little bit I my goal here oh that piece of cardstock on the side that little off cut piece what I did is I measured where my photos were going to go roughly and with the lead pencil I just kind of placed out where I thought the stripes could be and I'm just using that as a bit of a guide to figure out where exactly to put the stripes I didn't want to measure it perfectly but I wanted to make sure that I had them so that when I put my photo down the photo the edge of the photo was landing in the middle of a paint stripe rather than lining up with the edge of a paint stripe if that makes sense you'll see when I stick the photo on top so here I didn't have a color that was a watercolor that was similar to this tealy kind of color so I watered down the acrylic paint which is what I should have done for all of them next time I will do that and it's a really really beautiful bright color and I'm just dabbing that off so off camera I just dried it with my heat gun and now I am going to paint some love hearts as according to the grab five challenge items hearts was one of them and I'm just uh, at the start I was using a paintbrush that was too uh it was a little too big for this and I also put the paint exactly where I would usually lean my hand and so that made it very awkward to to paint the hearts and I'm doing the same thing here I've got my use it up journal that I'm using as a uh, kind of a paint palette here so that I can just smush the excess paint in there and have an art journal background for next time 
So I'm just very basically going and just painting hearts. They don't have to be perfect. Some of them are a bit wonky. Some of them are thinner than others. Some of them aren't even symmetrical, but they're hearts and they're there. And I do do a doodly border around them anyway. So you can't really tell the wonkiness. If you haven't seen my used up journal before, I actually, I have a few videos over on my second channel, Let's Get Inky, where I do uh, art journaling in here. And then I also just filmed one for my Patreon channel that went for almost an hour or did it go over an hour? Oh, I think it was almost an hour uh, where I did five pages in one video over there. So now all of my hearts are done and it's time to stick my photo on. And you can see each of the, the tops of the photos end up in the center or, you know, in the middle of a paint stroke, not on the edge. And that's that was my goal to have those mainly the top two uh, photos and then that bottom black and white one I wanted to sit in the paint. I also added some uh, craft foam behind my photo just to pop it up a little bit and I just grabbed some cheap fun foam from the kids department in my local craft shop. Next up I decided to try and stamp and I have a little stamp fail here and oh, I was so mad at myself when it happened you'll see in um, a little while here actually I know I think I did it off camera. Uh, I these stamps I don't know where I got them from I'm sorry that left hand set is an older studio calico one don't think it's available anymore I've had some of these stamps for years and years uh, and they've been in my stash for a while now you can see this curious word I I stamped it and then I dropped my acrylic block with the stamps onto my layout and it smudged all of the black and I was cranky. So in the end, I just did some washi tape because like I always say, you can always cover it up unless it's kind of in the middle of someone's face on a photo that you might need to reprint it then and, and you can still technically cover it up, I guess. So now it's time to get a little punch happy and I'm using this punch which is an EK Success one and then this other punch is an older Martha Stewart one and my my intention was to just use gold hearts and then I spotted a couple of packets of embellishments to my right that I really wanted to finish off. I was going to do the gold hearts and then a couple of these tiny little enamel hearts and call it quits. But then I decide to add all of the hearts. I go a little crazy and I, I try to use up as many stickers as I possibly can because there's a lot of, I find that when I get a sheet of multicolored hearts, I use the colors that I love like pinks and turquoises and black and white very easily. But then I often get a lot of red, green and yellow ones that just, they just hang around. They just stick around and they don't really go anywhere. So I really tried to use as many hearts as I could. And I knew that with this, the, the format of this page, the design, I wasn't going to really do any other embellishing. The hearts were it pretty much. So I thought, why not go a little cray cray and just pop them all on? So you can see here, I have sped this up uh, a little faster than usual, just because I am sticking and plonking a lot of them on there. I tried to, I started off with hearts that match the colors really well. So ones that were actually orange or red. Uh, and then I also picked a few that were similar colors to the ones that I had used. So I used a few gray ones, a few uh, white, of course, I could blend those in with any of them. And it was a good way to try and use up some of my, some of my stash. So let me know if you like the return of Grab Fives. I know that I used to do a lot of them a couple of years ago and then I kind of stopped or slowed down a little bit. I think it was because I felt like I had used all of the Grab Five items, uh, which is silly because there's an endless stash of things in my craft room. I just didn't want them to become repetitive. I felt like, like I was repeating myself a little bit. 
Uh, but let me know in the comments if you do like Grab 5, if you've tried it yourself. I am also going to work on my playlists because I haven't been adding uh, videos to playlists for, oh, golly gosh, long time, probably 18 plus months, maybe two years. And so I'm thinking of deleting my current playlists because I know videos have been missed and starting from scratch. So let me know in the comments, would you prefer uh, just a couple of playlists, like one for scrapbook layouts, one for project life layouts, one for craft organization and one for other? Or would you prefer it to be a little bit more specific and have those categories, but also have playlists such as Grab5 playlist, a Scrap Stash Sat Day playlist, a playlist for citrus twist projects and a playlist for cocoa vanilla projects because I'm on their DTs. Let me know your thoughts on what categories you think uh, you guys would find useful. All right, the layout is complete. I really had lots of fun uh, interacting with you guys and I really hope to do another subscribers pick my grab five challenge items really soon and have a lovely weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.